All right, we're doing an intro here. We've got the parents. Sheila's hiding. <laughs> yeah, so this video um, started really long and rambly, and uh, I've done some major cutting of it. But uh, we had some rock star painting happening this week. Um, my sister Jill left. Uh, she was only coming for a week, but Phil and Sheila here, they, uh, they stayed on and helped me to... Uh, to do the painting. And uh, we did some uh, painting of tiles in the powder room. So you'll have to uh, weigh in and decide for me whether it was a good idea or not. <laughs> or maybe don't tell me, I, maybe I don't wanna know. <laughs> Anyhow, it's been a fun week. Alas, they uh, leave on the weekend, which is gonna be sad. So I'm gonna be on my own again and uh, trying to determine which project is next. Yay. All right. Uh, hope you enjoy it. We've tried to keep it fairly short and sweet. Okay. A bientôt. Okay. So we've decided to tape off the squares and we're going to try painting the tiles black just in this little powder room to see what that would be like possibly in the kitchen. So we're taping it all off and we've got some kind of enamel floor paint in black. So we'll see what this is like and uh, give it a try. So yeah, it should be interesting. Okay. Well, the jury is out right now as to whether this is going to be a good idea or not. So this is first coat. And we'll just leave it to dry. It's really, really streaky right now, as you can see. So questionable as to whether we've chosen the right paint. Um, I feel like we are gonna need some sort of stronger epoxy kind of paint where you mix the two pieces, to the two bits together, or the two formulas together to make the epoxy. Whereas this is just a, this is just a floor paint. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what it does. We'll see what it looks like under a second coat. Hmm? And then to see what it looks like with a second coat. Yeah, I know, I think so, yeah. You know, I mean it's definitely darkened the tile there. It's just it's not black. It's like a darker terracotta. <laughs> terracotta's coming through a bit. Yeah, it is. But you'd be surprised when it dries. Yeah. It's just the way it's drying. Yeah. I guess they say you shouldn't stand here watching paint dry, so. Oh, the adage. The paint dry, yeah. <laughs> so, any conclusions? Okay, so this is the thought at this point that we would maybe you could uh -huh. move this wall out and have a non sweet. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And then you could put the wall through here if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Make your door through here. Yeah, and this could be the ensuite. For that. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of in your drawings. Yeah, yeah. Right. But not accurately. Okay, well. And in fact, if you did that, the ensuite could. Uh, yeah, sure. You probably have enough room that you could, if you did that, come in. The door here. Yeah. You might have enough room to put your washer and dryer still there. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Right. Okay. I'm trying to find a place for your washer and dryer. Right. right. Yeah. Good point. But what I had to, you know. But, you know, what we, you know, I mean, a bit like what you had here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might be able to just have a door that you open, it's a washer and dryer, mm -hmm. you know, that sort of right. thing right yeah. here. Because this was fairly decent. This you door. Had, you had a tub and everything. This goes right mm -hmm. through to the next room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'd raise the floor in here. Right. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. in the this bathroom so you could see out the windows. Right. In a bathtub. Well, this okay. is, she's got this pretty big. I mean, I'm yeah. not I sure do. I need could a tub and a shower. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, well, you're right. True. So if that was the case, you could have a decent sized laundry room. All right. Well, we'll, anyway, we'll, we'll look at it. But this one assumes there's no stairs. There's no, stairs that, right no, here. No, it no, still we, works. We, we can do it still with works. the stairs. This is oh, where okay. the stairs go. Oh, okay. And then they wind around this way. 
So we so this gets a bit thinner like this. So way. we need to move that wall a wee bit. Right. Look at the thickness of the wall I had there. Oh, it's not that thick. Maybe not that thick. No. Yeah, there's some thick but walls. This but this wall is that thick, and there's yeah. the entrance. Okay. Yeah, I knew there was a door yeah, there. So we just yeah. need to. I take out this fireplace and this fireplace. <laughs> well, yeah. There's no fireplace. I know. Yeah. There used to be. There used to be. I'm sure. I think this one's still here. Yeah, I think if we there. went through that wall, like I think oh, that sure that's what that little look thing that, is. Yeah, that I'm pretty sure it would still be there because the yeah. chimney's still there, yeah, and the, the the fireplace below is there. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but that's that's the case all the way through. Okay, you can actually see where it was removed. Right. Mm -hmm. it's quite a pretty room, it? it is a pretty room, mm -hmm. and this is why I was thinking this would be the studio because it gets so, nice you light. You have a studio with their own suite. Yeah, true. why not? Yeah. <laughs> It could be alternate mm -hmm. use. Mm -hmm. Or it could, you know, it could just be a studio and all I need is a big sink. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. But yeah. Okay. I mean, this would allow flexibility. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, and also, I mean, when I pictured what you had drawn, I was picturing a door here and this kind of oh, becoming no, that's the, like that. that's the living room. And then this all gets added to the bedroom ensuite. That's right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I know. Because this is such a weird space. What do you do with yeah. it? Right. Yeah. Is anybody going to sit up here? Yeah. This is absolutely I mean, a lovely space. Maybe this is where mm -hmm. you put the TV or something. I, I know. What? No TV. Sacrilege. No TV. Okay. Yeah. And that, and that side would be, would this be. is where we were thinking in your plan, the studio would be on this side. And it would go right over to the mm -hmm. room to mm -hmm. here. However, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> right. And there's one window that's closed in this section here, and I don't know which one it is. I hit a landing and came down again. It wouldn't be in front of any of the windows. Right. Uh, uh, it, could, it could possibly come down. I, I'd have to draw it uh, yeah. and uh, see how it worked out. It could probably, yeah. And Just, don't forget, the other thing is, in terms of height, is if you're stepping up into that. Right, See how the colors look different in the different light. Yes, they do. I mean, we were looking at it with shadows across it last mm -hmm. year. Oh, still, the white wouldn't be bad. Yeah, so consensus is becoming clear that we may just keep with the Agen white for the shutters. <laughs> We've got painting in action going on right now. Are you using either one of these? No, go for it. Go for it. Oops. <laughs> okay. So this is for this side? I don't know which one you want to use. It's up to you. Oh, All right, we've got the expert painters going on oh, here. Try this little baby one. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. It's, so it's cute. the cutest it's roller project. ever. Uh, All right, we've got the professionals. <laughs> the professionals at work. Okay, so does this get the same color? The door? Yeah. Yeah. Just checking. Yep. <laughs> don't overdo my uh, thrilling composition. Right. Here. And then I thought with the pipes that we could do the paint the pipes green up until the baseboard and then paint yeah. the yeah. wall color after that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Learning a valuable lesson. So when you get a ferro and ball color mixed. It, it it's very it. different, yeah. Yeah, and it, it looks very different yeah. on the walls. Would you clean this? Looks very different on the walls. This is ferro and ball. This is unicorn. Totally different colors. So I'm being told. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I'm being told that I should do the first coat using the cheap paint, and then do the second coat in uh, the expensive ferrum ball to get the color I want. So that's been a bit of a disappointment, but anyway, there you go. 
And then the same paint store told me that using a real epoxy type paint in here in the little powder room is not a good idea. And they wouldn't even sell it to me. So they were like, it's a bad idea to try and paint the tiles, <laughs> which it probably is. But um, this paint is okay, but you can kind of see here, there's like a, a, I was doing the scratch test and it doesn't really pass the scratch test. Granted, it's only, it hasn't even been 24 hours, so maybe we haven't let it cure long enough, but maybe the whole idea is just a bad idea. So, I don't know. Um, that's where that's at. So anyway, um, I'm gonna finish on the wall colors while the parents <laughs> work, work on the windows. And yeah, here we go. We've got my dad using a whole different, whole different paintbrush than what he's normally used to. Um, I'm going to get him a cloth. Okay, abiento. I think we actually finished painting <laughs> this room. So here you go. I'm still not 100% convinced. I'm really disappointed that they weren't able to completely uh, match the ferro and ball color. To me, it was a fairly significant difference, but, um, but it's close. The color I wanted was a little grayer. It was a grayer green than this. This is a little bit more minty than I anticipated. And I thought the grayer green would go better with this uh, marble on the table. You can kind of see the two colors together. It's just a little more minty. But, you know, at this point, I guess I'm splitting hairs. But I'm just so thrilled. It's taken so much time and uh, my dad and Sheila were rock stars, and uh, we got it done. We got it done. So, um, of course, this table is so heavy <laughs> that I don't think the three of us can move it. So, there it stays for the moment. But, yeah, so there we go. Room done. One room down. <laughs> It sounds so insignificant, given the number of rooms I still have to paint. But um, there you go. It feels like a major accomplishment, so I'm going to take it. You take the accomplishments while you can. And then my dad was determined to paint all the squares in the little powder room black. So I think he's just done. Wow. So yeah, we haven't lifted the tape yet, so it'll be kind of cool to see, but there we go. And then we're gonna put, a, I got a new little sink and um, a new little faucet. And then up here above this tile, which is the same tile that continues in the kitchen, we're gonna put some um, red sort of 12 rock wallpaper that I actually spent probably way too much money buying from Little and Green. So yeah, it should be cute in here. Have to paint this door and whatnot, but there we go. 
All right, we're taking off the tape. Actually, when you stand back, we decided it looks really good, but the durability is the question right now. So it definitely looks better than the red did. Mm -hmm. Time will tell. Time will tell.